Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Westland Survival. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys are having a great time playing with the new update. Hopefully you guys are having some success with the um, finding of all the new materials that are currently now in the game. So granted, not a lot, but however, they are in the game. So basically we are looking for linen, uh, granite, um, ash planks and the um, uh, the newer hide and now I can't remember what, what it was actually called but I'm sure you guys know what I'm exactly trying to explain anyway what I want to do today is I want to sort of go into the spirit cave now what I've done at the moment is I've actually gone through and taken out uh, trials one and two um, on standard level so I'm not on hard mode um, I haven't done three and four and purely because it'll just turn out to be a very long video and I don't want to sort of go around and doing that and basically it's more or less just a, um, a, a repetitive notion and I'm sure you guys will get it at the end of the day. So what I want to do is I want to loot all the uh, unopened chests and things like that that I haven't done and I want to see if we can find and obtain the new materials because it did say in the update uh, developer notes that you can actually find them all. So it is known to be found, sorry I should say, in these caves. So not to say that you will find them, but um, hopefully we should be able to find something. Now when I first started uh, jumping into the, um, into the the spirit cave today, I instinctively opened up a couple of chests without without even thinking about it so apologies on that one but I didn't find anything anyway in the chests that were open so yeah apologies but as you can see there wasn't anything of interest in here to begin with so yeah so what we're going to do is we're just going to open up some of these things see what's in there and hopefully we may get something out of them but so far nothing but um, the basics and the very basics at that. Now I did open up this one purposely just so I can drop some uh, weapons in here so uh, at least that, that way you guys are you know aware of what I've done. But yeah so so far I've done Spirit Caves 1 and 2 just to sort of keep people in check. I thought about doing a whole lot but just you know by the time I sort of go around and um you know open up all the chests in all four caves it's just going to be a, ma a mammoth video didn't want to do that didn't want to do that to you guys so i'm just going to do one and two have a bit of a chat hopefully you guys are happy with that let me know in the comments uh down below uh what you think about it uh if you guys are new to the channel make sure you do uh, make a point of hitting the subscribe and the notification bell uh, so you don't miss on any future updates on my channel uh, like of course comment down below all that sort of good stuff anyway enough of, enough about that really want to get in here hopefully we find some decent stuff i should probably pick up most of each of these things here oak yeah why not let's just pick up what we can um if anything that i find that I'm not interested in I'll probably let them go and just sort of you know uh, remove I guess but I'm more interested to find all the boss chests and see if they do bear some of the new materials because I think that's what we're sort of going to look at and um, hopefully yeah I mean what what type of frequency and hopefully by the end of it even by the second um, by the end of the second spirit cave will this determine if it's of any um just pine board if it's of any value to us to start investing our time and effort resources more importantly just to go into the um spirit caves and raid and and in hope that we actually find um you know what we want so this is one of the first mini bosses as i like to call them their main chest so i'm hoping to find some some of these new materials in here so let's find out do we find anything? Um, we do not. Okay. So there is some okay things in here. I'm not going to worry about that. This, no, not really. Um, yep. Yeah, okay. So nothing of interest there so far. So look, to be honest, right now I don't expect to find a whole lot. Um, if we do, fantastic. If we don't, look, it is what it is. So 
And I think this goes back to what I was saying in my previous video. If you guys haven't seen my previous video uh, for the game when the update did drop, uh, please do check it out. I'll leave it somewhere linked um, throughout the video anyway. So uh, do check that out. I do go into a bit of detail about it, but I'm going to iterate some of the, um, uh, the bits and pieces that I feel that would be relevant right here. Because what it is, and I've actually seen it uh, throughout the, the latest post, well the last post, on the developer Facebook page and pretty much a lot of people are having a hard time finding some of these materials um, they're either having oh, you know a bit of a whinge about the fact that they have to pay with their coins if they want to trade and do deals with the trader uh, to get some of those uh, rare items because that's, that's what they are right now they are rare they're accessible but they're rare and they're not going to come easy. Now, the frequency in finding them in the um, in these room, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, in the spirit caves, we don't know. Um, we don't know what type of percentage drop rate that these things have, and we can't really be for certain to know if it's going to be viable until we actually come down here and sort of give it a go. And that's what I wanted to sort of do with you guys, just to give you guys a bit of an idea. And look, by all means, if you guys naturally run the Spirit Cage time and time again, then good on you guys. Because you're going to have the utmost um, uh, most chances of finding or landing some of these uh, rare materials. Um, we don't even know if it if it takes that you have to unlock uh, the totems at the at the beginning via these things here. Uh, that we don't know yet. So if you guys have come across some of these items let me know in the comments I want to hear your feedback because it's not just for my benefit but for everyone everyone else's benefit too if they're struggling or if they haven't found anything of interest uh, okay so we've got copper parts um, all right so what else do I have over here let's grab this chest yeah so going back to the developer page and going back to my previous video that I sort of wanted to um, touch base the devs have played it smart in the way that they've given us what we've actually asked for so they've given it to us in a little little drip so think of a tap think of when you just sort of open up a tap just that little bit and it just starts dripping out rather than just opening it up at full force and letting, letting the water gush out for whatever reason that you'd want to do that but this is the analogy I'm going to go with so they're drip feeding us the said items is that still that is steel wire okay so there you go there there is steel available you can get somewhat uh, some of the items there this is not one of the newer um, versions of the leather items there so you can disregard take them if you want but I'm just gonna leave them out for now anyway so they're drip feeding us these items and only because just to satisfy some of the more um, experienced players, end game players. A lot of people are still learning the game and playing the game for the first time, which is fine. And there's other ga uh, other players like myself, or, or like a lot of you guys that have played the game for such a long time, that are itching to get the newer resources. And I totally get that. And I um, I agree with when you guys say that you want you know more accessibility to these items, but. I think that the game's development is at a point where they need to sort of slow the game's progression down until people either catch up or the, their development themselves have actually caught up so they can introduce newer applications to the game. So whether that be in the form of uh, new zones, uh, newer mechanics into the game, uh, possibly new, new journeys, new storylines, whatever it might be. And I think that's probably going to hit at home. And this is where a lot of people sort of, you know, for now have to sort of buy their time and just sort of hold out, prepare yourselves possibly for the next updates and to what they may entail and what that might behold, all those sort of things. So I think that's where we sort of need to, you know, sort of make a call on it and sort of be a little bit more patient with the developers. You've got to sort of hand it to them because they are quite active with their updates and there are updates that are coming through it's been quite a while since they've sort of left the game and not 
updated the game in such you know a large period of time so it's good that they're doing that and that's what I like about you know the developers here uh, yeah okay I'll take the spike mace yeah so even going back to again I'm just going to reference my previous video as well so um, when we sort of checked out the the new locations the new zones there was not a lot going on there very very little to be honest with you so again I think it's still a placeholder for everything and for them to sort of you know get their other developments that all you know further developments I should say rather uh, into the game so you sort of look at the abandoned mine which is one thing there's actually no abandoned mine or um, access to go underground like you like what we've got here for the spirit capes so that's what I'm thinking that they're going to do for the um, for the abandoned mine uh, they'll obviously outfit it a little bit differently to what the, the spirit caves are. So there might be like little mine shafts, little, um, you know, uh, little rail tracks, um, like little carts and things like that. Whether or not that we can push them along, I don't think that's going to be the case. But what I'm sort of getting at is there's going to be poss possibly another aesthetic appeal to the, the actual zone. And then the, they, may, they may start opening up uh, materials in that area. Or a little bit further on oh there you go see the reliable leather okay so reliable leather uh, reliable leather belt there you go so so far two of the probable uh, materials that you can find in the spirit cave had been found and this is only uh, cave one I believe so I haven't actually gone through to the second cave just yet so that's cool and you know uh, what else do we have here I guess you got to sort of look at it and so far this is the this is cave one okay this is all that we found so far this is the main chest what have we got here okay we've got linen fabric roll awesome um, all right so I'm gonna throw it back to you guys and you guys got to let me know is that worth it okay so cave one out of four is what I've done so far worth your time yes or no it's it's as simple as that um, so far look it's probably worth it for now only because that we can uh, use what we find here to upgrade those workstations that we have back at home uh, to level four and that enables us to make high tier items weapons clothing um, things like that so that's what I think that I, I feel that it's sort you know sort of worth it right now I don't know about you guys but that's just my opinion on it if you guys have got the resources to burn then yeah go ahead and do it if you guys don't have the resources to burn then I don't think it's worth it just now so again this is where the developers have actually made a balance you know to the game and this is where you guys have to go under your own judgment do you guys want to raid uh, the spirit caves in hope to find little bits and pieces like I have so far then you know um, that's up to that's your call but what I don't like seeing is that people just you know straight up complaining that they don't think it's fair I think it's perfectly fair whether I think that's controversial or not, um, then look, you know, that that's down to you guys. You guys let me know if, if it's a fair statement or not. So what I'm saying is that if you guys want it, then you guys know should know where to get it. Being down here, um, I believe the Spirit Cave is, a, sorry, not the Spirit Cave, the Canyon Trials is another outlet. Uh, Raiding the Bandits, again, another outlet. So when you're at the Raiders Hideout, that's going to be another area that you guys can sort of, you know, tap into and hopefully find, um, you know, some of these items here. So, yeah, guys, it's a game of chance. That's what it is. And until, like I said, the developers have finally, you know, allowed us to progress further in the game, that's when they're going to open up more, um, more things for us to do in game before, you know, all that sort of happens. So that's what I think. And look, I, I hate being direct about, you know, certain things, but it is what it is. You know, there's really no other way around it. How can you, you know, how can you really, um, 
uh, sort of, I don't know, explain it any other way. I think that's probably the, uh, a better way of sort of going about it. There's no other way about, you know, saying it other than just saying it really. And I guess that's sometimes that you sort of got to have to, you know, face that, that little type of reality, I guess. And um, yeah, you just sort of got to just take it from there. But like I said, I think, you know, your patience would be rewarded or will be rewarded, um, you know, further down the line. And I think this would be a good time for a lot of you uh, lower level um, players to just sort of start, you know, uh, stocking up and, you know, just getting yourselves prepared as best as you can with what you've got. So I don't think there was anything down here. No, there wasn't. Nope, that's it. Anyway. Yeah, so um, let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments. So I want you guys to sort of give your opinions about it too. And look, we've already covered covered this, so don't give me the the excuse and saying you know, oh, you know, it's you have to spend coins, you have to spend this. We already know that. What I want to hear from you guys is: is it worth your time doing this? What you're doing right now? Are you guys focusing on other? Um, other areas of the game right now to assist yourselves more so you guys again as I said will be prepared for other things you know when the time comes so you know whether that be raiding whether that be um, uh, building up your bases you know for the raids uh, let me know that's what I want to hear from you guys um, if you guys are not interested in playing the spirit cave game for now like I said this is just for now and I think in time that we are going to find that it's going to be a lot easier a lot better because 100% I'm going to sort of say you know in the case of the abandoned mine there's going to be granite uh, down there granite deposits will we I reckon they're going to be introduced in an update and we're only going to find them down there yes it's probably going to be hard going down there and um, you know try to find all of those um, granite nodes or deposits whatever you want to call them and then the, the other uh, map was the, the buffalo uh, pasture. I reckon they're going to increase that heavily in terms of the, the, um, the hardness of the level uh, in order for us to you know, obtain cotton because I reckon that's going to be the only place where we're going to find cotton. Um, whether they're going to rejig the map around, um, there's a red skull buffalo pasture, there's orange and there's green. The orange was only just recently introduced. Uh, just to sort of give you guys a bit of an update on that or a heads up on that. Anyway, that's where I think that's where the main source of cotton will be moving forward when the developers decide to update that part of the game. And then finally the mixed forest, I think that's when we're going to find our ash planks or ash uh, tree logs. And uh, yeah, that's basically where I think all the main materials will be. You might even find the ability for us to get steel, possibly more steel drops. Um, I'm not too sure yet. So yeah, I think that's more or less what I sort of wanted to cover pretty much in the video. But at least we've sort of gone through a couple of the, um, uh, the caves and at least I've actually found a few of these as well. So. I'm hoping that some of these main chests do hold these a lot more um, uh, frequently. And uh, what else? You know what? I don't need that. I'd rather take that first. I mean, it's just the hammer. It just doesn't really do much. Anyway. So yeah, look, you you do find some of these materials, but again, is it worth your time? <laughs> and I think that's where you sort of got to look at it now, and say either yes or no. You know, you, I mean, to give you an idea, I pretty much went in with all, um, pretty much all shotguns. I used a lot of my weaker shotguns uh, to do this, and I've only, I only used a couple of melee items until I sort of decided that I wanted to just use uh, shotguns for the most part. And the shotguns that I'm currently using, I've only used them in um, just for the bosses only. So the, um, the more basic shotgun, as soon as I open up this, I'll sort of show you now. Uh, let's, let's sort of scroll down, because you should be able to find all of these guys here anyway. Obviously not craft them, of course, but... Um, yeah, so the Coachman's uh, shotgun. I had a ton of these, and I went through a lot of those, um, well, not a lot of those, a bit of them, 
uh, throughout the first two caves and then basically I'll sort of you know uh, use the the shotgun that I'm currently using now which you obviously can't craft uh, I think it's the Henry yeah the Henry 44 there you go so so I strictly use the Henry 44 mainly for the um, uh, for the bosses so for like the mini bosses and the main bosses because it's just easy just to sort of run gun turn and burn as they sort of call it I think there's a chest down here so we're, we're sort of nearly I think I like to say halfway through this uh, this cave so hopefully not too much long to go and what have I got over here yeah so you do burn a bit of resources so your clothing your weaponry heals of course and yeah I, I, you just got to sort of look at the ratio about it you know is it worth it right now and like I said I think this would, would appeal to a lot more ga um, players that are towards the end game so far or have pretty much you know um, say like solidified their base that they don't have to worry about bandits and things like that even though if they do attack and if they've collected all the resources available and upgraded their workstations things like that so I'm sort of like in between at the moment so I, I sort of look at it where I um, that I am further a lot further along in the game um, no I haven't actually um, you know, made a stable defense for my base and I, I hardly try well I try and hardly deal with uh, bandits as they come so I don't really sort of go out and try and find bandits for myself just so I can kill them and or do the bounties and things like that just yet just purely because I haven't gone that far with with my own base and yeah so I think that's probably you know a reason why that I haven't really gone down that pathway I, I, sh I should really to be honest with you it's just that when you're sort of playing a lot of these games uh, not only this game but um, all the other games that you see on my channel I do a lot of heavy rotation and and it's hard <laughs> don't get me wrong it's hard to sort of keep up to date with everything and especially you know with with the mass expansion that this game has received in a short period of time I was sort of up to a point where I didn't really need to um, you know play the game as often as I should be doing so I think that's just sort of like a little key element there and I sort of got to reinvest that time back into you know a game such as this just so I can get back on top of it and I think maybe you know if I play the game for like a solid week I'll be pretty much close to where I should be um, resource wise I guess but and just building up the base and all that sort of stuff and then you can sort of you know tick over from time to time until like another major update pops through then I guess you know you can sort of reinvest a little bit more time back into it but that's I think that's the way it goes with any gamer really unless if your sole purpose is to play either one game or you know a very small handful of games then you're sort of going to keep on top of things you're going to manage things and yeah I think you don't you wouldn't have you know a problem like I am at the moment so I wouldn't say that it's a massive problem but you know it's just a problem where hey, you've got too many games that you're playing you've got to sort of slow it down I guess but that's that's the case of YouTuber you got to sort of um, you know manage your space correctly and make sure that you've got enough reasonable content going around so I think that's um, that's where it sort of stems from I guess all right so this is the end so let's just go ahead and grab the um, in, um, this minor chest and, um, and then we'll go for the main ones and see what we come up with uh, boy needs to drink actually I think I might go back and just eat those and okay so then um, open up this may as well just eat that while I'm here and all right let's just open up the last three chests and I'll leave that one for last let's open up this one and then we'll just have a quick assessment and see exactly what we got from these first two caves you can only assume what we get in these chests here um, to what you think that you might get if you go through all four caves and yeah you can only sort of make that assumption because they seem pretty set and that's just probably the initial notable pattern 
that I've sort of come to notice right now. So let's evaluate. So I've gone through two caves, standard um, standard runs. So I'm not um, not on hard mode, just on normal mode. And right now I've walked away with 15 linen, 15 reliable leather, uh, 10 steel wire, 10 steel plates. So by by looking at this, you're looking to get probably 30 linen, 30 reliable leather, and that's a leather belt. Yep, uh, a stack of steel wire and a stack of steel plates. That's if you do the spirit cave from one to four standard mode. Now I don't know what hard mode would bring. I don't think it'll it's going to drop anything more. I'd like to think that it would just going going by what we've got so far. Um, but that's so far what we've got so far. So pretty much. These are the new uh, materials. Unfortunately, no granite, which I'm sort of disappointed about. So I don't know if granite would be available if you were to do this all over in hard mode. Possibly, who knows? Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I'm going to leave it here for today. I think I've spent a lot of time on this, so um, I'm just being conscious of my time today as well. So got to do a couple things anyway for myself today. Anyway. Uh, let me know what you think about all this down in the comment section down below. Are you guys enjoying the new update? How how many runs of the Spirit Cave have you guys performed to get what you've got so far? Is it worth your time? Is it worth everyone else's time? I want you guys to sound off. Let me know in the comments. Um, make sure you hit the like button, comment as well, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you guys haven't done so already. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Take it easy. Catch you next time.